They said it's the 20th anniversary of John Hines' first appearance on our show. And I'm like, I have no memory of that. Why would you remember it? <laughs> yeah. How did I even meet this guy? How did you get booked? <laughs> Good to see you too, Robin. Uh, <laughs> you guys had heard about my Jump the Shark website. Speaking of Jump the Shark, I got to get this guy in. Oh, there he is. Hey, John. There's my hero, John Hine, man. Friends jumped the shark a couple years ago. When? When, when they beat the Ross and Rachel thing to death. Survivor jumped the shark the first time you saw the Survivor bandana, the Survivor t-shirt. Sopranos is just such a great show for what it is, but when they turn up the hype machine on it, you know that you're in trouble. I guess you enjoyed the appearance because I came back a few months later and I became sort of a recurring guest, and that was, yeah, 20 years ago. And John was a good guest because John really you know, it was well thought out about when a show jumped the shark. You actually had theories and had watched every episode. It was good. This is a man who judges straws. Of course he had opinions. <laughs> He's a really opinionated guy, and I liked it. <laughs> I liked his delivery. And then you got a job with us, but then while you were yeah. working for us, you sold Jump the Shark, your website, to TV Guide. That's for correct. An, an undisclosed amount. You've never disclosed the amount you sold it for. I have not. I have never disclosed it. What? Why is that? It was part of the deal, or they would take back what they gave me. So as much as I'd love to tell you, I'm not going to tell you. Oh. What is amazing about that, and this happens with so many companies, they bought the website Jump the Shark TV guy, did absolutely nothing with it, and let it, you know, wither on the vine. It was so frustrating because I spent every night, you know, working on that thing, and they just never dedicated somebody really full-time to it, and that was the key to the whole website. You had to be interact with everyone and stay on top of things, and they just buried it. And when did they stop talking to you? Because that's what happens is usually they then stop taking your phone calls <laughs> when they've lost interest. Well, it's funny, Rob, and like when I signed the deal... They flew me out to the Emmys. I did a thing for TV Guide Network. And then a few months later, you know, all of a sudden my emails, they weren't responding that quickly. And then <laughs> it was about a year, I would say, that yeah. by the end that they were just like, we've got it. We're good. Thank you. And that was that. Didn't it get so big you one shot a pilot for a game show, a Jump the Shark game show? Two pilots. One was a game show. One was a talk show. Neither of which saw the light of day. They love the idea so much. You're thinking of making it into a TV show they or something? They want to do a game show based uh, on the site. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's when, of course, Jump the Shark will jump the shark, but we'll see what goes down. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's when Jump the Shark will get bad. <laughs> Who hosted the game? You? No. The game show pilot was hosted by Greg Fitzsimmons, oh. and it was me <laughs> and Kathy Griffin. And that year, it was between that show and Dr. Phil as to which one would get on the air. And mm. King World, for some reason, chose Dr. Phil. How do you play Jump to Shark game? What were the rules? There were three rounds. You had two people competing against each other. The first round was you'd give an example. Like some say this is when the Brady Bunch jumped the shark and you would have to guess which one it was. And then after that, it'd get to a final round where you would have a topic like um, Michael Jackson. And you had 60 seconds to list the number of different ways Michael Jackson could have jumped the shark. Jeez, that's too hard. Who the fuck could win that? Horrible. What a horrible show. <laughs> it was too convoluted, definitely. Yeah. Did you ever calculate if you held on to that website and didn't sell the TV guy, do you think you could have made more money in the long run uh, yes. with the website? You do think you could? I do. So do you think it was a mistake selling the website? Absolutely not. Yeah. It was the right time. It was a good deal. I had just joined you guys, and I wanted to dedicate myself full-time to here. I couldn't do both. And honestly, I mean, I was a VP for Princeton Review when I sold. Jump the Shark was always my side thing. It was never my main thing yeah. because this sort of became my creative outlet versus Jump the Shark. So the timing was right. But yeah, I left, I left a lot of zeros on the table looking back.